All right. Here we go. FBG Duck. Welcome back. What's the word? What's the word? Hey, man. Like, this is, like, my favorite type of interview because, you know, I'll interview somebody who's, who's buzzing but hasn't really had that big song yet. You know what I'm saying? And right. then some time will pass and we do that follow-up interview and, and they hit that big song. And it's just, it's so dope what's happened since the last time we talked. Right. It's crazy. Hey, it actually been crazy, though. Like, the road life, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I like that shit. You feel me? That shit crazy, but... Yeah, it get better and better every day, though. I mean, Slide is a hit. Like, I've been listening to that shit nonstop. Yeah, that's the shit I like to hear. That's why I made it. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those songs that, like, you hear it, and, and, you know, the more you hear it, the more you start noticing little things about it. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, just just a dope-ass song, man. Congrats. Congrats on pulling that off. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, when you made it, I guess it only took you, like, 40 minutes to put it together? Ah, uh, shit. I actually don't even know how long it took me to make that shit. I actually forgot how long. I just be going in that motherfucker just doing that shit, like... It depends on how the beat is. However the beat is, that's how I feel at the moment. You feel me? Like, shit, however I feel, that's why I put on the beat. So shit, that's what came out that day. I was angry a little bit. <laughs> a whole lot of shit was going on, so shit. Okay, yeah, and we'll, and we'll talk about that because a lot of shit was going on during the time of that song. But, but you just basically freestyled it? You just went in the booth and just started spitting? Shit, hell yeah, basically. I mean, you... No rapper could just go in that bitch and just start spinning and just like make a whole song. Like you gotta put that shit together in your head, like you gotta write it, however it like I don't write the shit. I just put the shit together in my head. But motherfuckers like however you put it together, you either had to memorize it or you wrote it down. So either way it go, like you wrote that shit. If you wrote it in your head or you wrote it on paper, you wrote that shit. But I just went in that bitch and like memorized it. Like, you know, I just go with the flow. Whatever pop in my head at the moment, shit, that's what's going on. It don't really be like, no problem with like coming up with the shit, you feel me? That's all you gotta do is like speak about the shit that's really going on, like tell the truth. Well, you had a few songs that were like hitting a million on YouTube. You know, yeah, you I had got, like a series of them. I got a lot of shit that got millions of views though. Right, but, but, but this right here is approaching like 30 40 million. <laughs> Yeah, that motherfucker down there, 40 million, so shit, like, I ain't never had no shit do that at one time, but fives, millions, twos, threes, tens, like, I did that shit before, but never 30-something million, damn near 40. And they, the numbers just gonna continue to go up, so shit, ain't no telling what that motherfucker gonna be around this time next year. Motherfucker probably right. be 300 million I mean, or some shit. You know, when you put it together, do you have any idea that it's going to do anything different than some now, of the other songs? At that part, I'm going to tell the truth, no. I didn't even think that, like, that was going to be one of my biggest songs. You feel me? Like, I never knew like that. I knew it was going to get a million views. Don't get me wrong, you feel me? But I didn't think that was going to be the, like, the biggest song out of all my shit that I dropped. Like, well, that was going to be the biggest one to do it for me. But I was glad that was the one that do it, did it for me. Shit. It's a raw-ass song. It's catchy. A lot of people like it. They could turn up to that shit. And a lot of motherfuckers relate to it. So shit, it's like, this it. Yeah, this the song right here. Like, this shit go crazy. And every well, shit. I think it's dope on the song how you kind of, you start off kind of kind of smooth and then you get hyped up. Yeah, and I can you kind of go back to, like, to being smooth. I could be like eight different motherfuckers on one song if I felt like it. Like, I don't know. Like, that shit just in me. Yeah, it's dope, man. I think a lot of people really don't realize the lyricism of what you're doing. Cause I really started going through the whole catalog and you really flip, you really flip shit on your songs, man. Like as someone who's been listening yeah. to hip hop like his whole life, like I hear it. You know, everybody don't pay attention. Like everybody don't pay attention to like everything. You feel me? But the people that do, they know like, yeah, he can do anything. Like he can make all type of music. Like I can make a church song. I don't know, like, I <laughs> shit, that shit just here. 
Well, congrats, man. Congrats. Uh, Appreciate it. A lot of people don't don't get to this level and to get to this type of song, and, and the you know, and a song that's still going, and, and you know, is reacting like this. So, that's big. And I heard that after the song popped off. Well, first of all, when the when the song started popping off, a bunch of people started like retweeting it and co-signing it. You know, G Herbo did. 21 Savage, who ended up jumping on the remix. Mm-hmm. But it was How did that shit come together? Shit. 21, he, 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 a cool, he a cool nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was fucking with me at the time, you know what I'm saying? He's still fucking with me. But, um, shit, I just hit him up, you feel me? On some, like, some street shit. It wasn't even no music shit, you feel me? But then it was like, fuck it. I'm gonna go on here to throw 21 on that bitch, you feel me? So I asked him to get on that motherfucker. We went to Atlanta, came to the studio, he dropped his verse on that bitch and shit. It was on from there. Like, he still fuck with me though. It okay, so even, he actually came in. It wasn't even just no, it wasn't even just on no, I did the verse and I don't fuck with you no more. Like, he still be fucking with me and shit, you feel me? But you know. That's how that shit go. Like when a motherfucker got time, motherfucker, fuck with a motherfucker, but I ain't gonna. It's a lot nope, of shit. man. <laughs> so I guess after the song came out, I had heard that you signed a deal with Sony. Um, yeah. Records. It's like shout out to Records too, and um, that's going good. That shit actually going good though. I fuck with him. I fuck with everybody that's on the label. You see what I'm saying? Like everybody that's working. Shout out to my team. Shit actually going good. Like, cause at first, like, you know, at first I wasn't really with like none of that signing to the label shit. But it was like, no, nah, it was like I connected with them though. It was like something about them that I liked it. You feel me? So I was like, fuck it. I'll get that shit a try. But I fuck with the label that I'm with. Shout out the records once again. I fuck with them. You feel me? Big Cloud EP drop October motherfucking 12th. And it's lit. You feel me? Once again, shout out records. Feel me? Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm actually happy as hell. That's why I'm steady smiling. Cause this shit is like, I'm proud of myself. You feel me? So shit. I don't be letting shit distract me and like get in my way and shit like that. I just focus on everything that's around me and me. Everything else don't even matter. All right, because the rumor was that you signed for 1.7 million. <laughs> that's the rumor. Now you can, you can answer that question or not answer that question, but that was the rumor. <laughs> hey, my business ain't for them to know. You feel me? But I got a, I got a, I got a fat ass check though, a real big ass check, and it's not 1.7 million. It's more than that. Um, yeah, I ain't gonna tell okay. it, but it's more than 1.7 million. It ain't 1.7. It's more than that actually. Yeah, I was okay. close though. They was close. Okay, so you go and sign this deal for you know, seven digits. What was the first thing that you, you spent your money on after that, you know, after the money cleared? After my money cleared? Mm -hmm. My mama was the first motherfucker on my line. So that was, you know how that shit go. You gotta make sure you hit OG. I just get her money and let her buy herself. She really ain't, she just want the money, like, just like me. That's where I get it from. I'm like, my mama, we just want the money. She, she, I mean, like, if I buy her gifts, she accept them. Don't get me wrong. Like, I buy her shit, you feel me? But, like, when she wanna, the shit that I know she really want, like, I let her do that shit on her own. So I just get her the money. Because on that one song, Look What Happened, you said I gave my mom a thousand for every year she was here. Yeah. That still goes on every day. You feel me? It's like, it's like when I was a kid, I used to get allowance. <laughs> Just know she all right, you know what I'm saying? She ain't worried about shit. She knows she's straight, regardless of anything. So the thousands keep going though. <laughs> they don't stop. You feel me? So whenever she call me and tell me she need anything, like she give it. It's no question. 
You feel me? That's a dope ass lyric. I love that. That's cause that shit was true. That's probably why you felt that shit more. You feel me? You yeah. know, I, I, I don't know if everybody take care of their mama, but I do. You feel me? Like I can't speak for everybody else, so shit. I ain't gonna say everybody take care of their mama. But everybody should want to take care of their mama. Like, you wouldn't even be able to do this shit if she ain't had sex with your daddy and had you, motherfucker. Like, you <laughs> you feel me? Like, you wouldn't be able to be who you is today. Like, you wouldn't be able to have this money. Like, you would probably be a stain on somebody's sheet or something. I mean, when you were growing up, was your dad around? Nah. That's probably Not what made all. me a better man, you feel me? But I ain't gonna lie, like, I don't got a relationship with my father. Like, I got a relationship with him. Like, I fuck with my daddy hard. You feel me? But he been in jail all 24 years of my life, so shit. Your dad's been in jail the entire time that you've been alive? Yeah. Wow. What did he go to prison for? All type of crazy shit. I still don't even actually know the full story. Like, he be wanting to tell me this shit. You feel me? But I don't be, like, wanting to hear that shit. I don't know why. That's probably because I was just acting like I ain't want to fuck with him at the moment. You know, little kid shit, when you a child, you know what I'm saying? You got to grow into that shit. But now, as the shit go, as the shit went on, like, I build the relationship with him. So it's like, I understand, you feel me? And plus, I know the shit, like, I ain't even going to lie, my pops finna come home. You feel me? Like, he finna come to the crib. You know what I'm saying? But that's because he was wrongly convicted. Like, he ain't even do the shit. You know what I'm saying? So now he got time. He, he finna come home. He gonna be a rich ass motherfucker. So shit. Wait, so does he have an actual release date? Nah, nah. He still, he, he actually just got his case brought back to the county. Oh, so you mean to tell me that he has a, a life sentence? Yeah, he had a life sentence. Oh. Like, he did 24 years in jail already. Okay. You feel me? But shit, you know how that shit, they ain't have all the motherfucking technology and shit that a motherfucker got right now, back then and shit. You feel me? So they, it's a lot of shit they couldn't prove. But now that they can prove that shit now, he, he ain't, he, a, he the good guy, he ain't the bad guy, he ain't the bad guy, you feel me? So now it's, oh, we made a mistake. Okay, so are you in a position to, to pay for a lawyer to try to help his case out in terms of his appeal? His lawyer's paid for, he got three lawyers. Oh. Pop straight, like, yeah, think about it, like, before my pops went to jail, he had money. You see what I'm saying? Like, my pops had money, like, don't get me wrong. Money ain't new to him. He had bread. That's why he had all the hoes in the neighborhood. Not calling my mama a hoe, but <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> okay. So, so growing up, how many siblings did you have in the house? About fifteen. We grew up. It was about fifteen us in one house. I'm gonna say the least twelve. The least 12. You know, I grew up with all my cousins and shit. We all grew up together. You feel We all lived with our grandma. It was our one wow. grandma, Vetty Weekly, Miss Weekly. Everybody in on the low end knew her. She was the queen of the low end. So everybody knew her, you feel me? All of us lived in that motherfucker. Every house she moved to, we moved to. It was no place like Granny Crib. Everybody was there. It was like you had fun every time you went over there. She got a game in every room. A game system in every room. She cooking big ass dinners every day. Like it's nothing you could ever want. Like everything you wanted was at your grandma house. Your cousins, your brothers, <laughs> yo, everybody, the whole block. Like we all in my grandma house. We do everything. Like playing basketball. It's a big ass field in the backyard. We playing football. All type of activities like that. She used to be fun as hell. Okay, is she she still alive? No, nah, she passed. She'll be happy as hell right now. Yeah. Like I I think if she was alive, I would have been. I probably would have been on because she would invested so much money. Like my grandma always had money. Like 
real money. Like, I'm not even just talking like no little thousands. She had real money, you feel me? Like, real money. So I'm just like, shit, if she was alive, shit, I probably would have been on when I first started rapping. She would have invested all that shit, every dime. And I knew it, because she the one who used to tell me, like, you going to be something. You feel me? Just how I used to walk on my tippy toes, like, that boy going to be something in life. And I just came out to be something. You feel me? Like, I always knew the shit was meant for me. Even, even if it was sports, rapping, anything, like, either way, one of them was going to work. So, speaking of family, last May, you lost your brother. Mm-hmm. And cousin. Last, no, I'm sorry, last July. And cousin. And cousin on the same day. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... FBG Brick, was that was that your brother from the same parents? Yeah, that's my mama's oldest boy. That's my mama's oldest son. Okay. He the oldest. How much older was he than you? Brick, 27, 28. Yeah, he 28. He just made 28. Where were you when you heard that news? Where the fuck was I? I think I was shooting a fucking video. No, I was at the crib. I was at home. I was at home. I just woke up. I was at the crib. I had just woke up. As soon as I found out that shit, like, I pulled right up to the scene. And it was like, damn. You know how that shit go. This your oldest brother. This your mama, oldest child. You seen him right here laid out. This your cousin, your oldest cousin. You seen him right here laid out, sheets on him. That shit was crazy. Automatic breakdown, you feel me? So shit. But you know life get, goes on. And everything I do right now is for them, you feel me? So that's how I kill niggas, with, they, with the success. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's why I mention their names and all that shit. You feel me? Like, you see me throw bees up, that shit for brick. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's mandatory. But that's how I kill people, right here, with their success. They don't like this shit. <laughs> I know they don't like this shit. I don't even like this shit. That's why I'm sweating right now. I kills myself sometimes. <laughs> you feel me? Okay, so so it was the same incident that your brother and your cousin got, got killed in. Mm-hmm. You pulled up to the scene and you actually saw them actually still, still right there on the street? Mm-hmm. And that, that was it. You just started crying. Automatic breakdown. Like, right now, like, it still kind of fuck with me, but I don't really get that emotional. Because I know right now what I'm doing is what they wanted to see me do anyway. So either way it go, they see me. You know what I'm saying? They see me shining on these niggas. The people that are responsible for this, for, for these two murders, were they, were they caught or is it still an open know. case? So nobody knows what happened. Like, even if I did, I wouldn't even speak on it. No, I, I understand. I'm not asking you to, to tell me what you personally know. I'm saying that officially, you know what I'm saying? Like, officially, has anybody been charged for it? Is anyone... I don't even know. You don't even know? Okay. All right. I, I understand, man. Um, fucking sad that, that, that someone who's not even 30, you know, whose brother is, you know, doing well, just, you know, that this happens to him, and, and, the, and your cousin as well. Like, how old was your cousin at the time? Uh, he, he's 30. 31. Yeah, yeah man, that, that, that's so fucking young. I mean, it's life. That's what comes with the streets. You feel me? Not saying that it was bad or good that it happened. But, like, if you, like, just the shit you want to do, them the consequences that come with it. You know what I'm saying? That's for anybody on this earth. If you want to be a gangbanger, like you got to be prepared for this shit. Either you take a life or you get yours took. Who, who was the one that told your mother? My mama, the one, they the ones told me. Oh. Shit, they knew before me. They was already right there when I pulled up. What was, I mean, it's, it's all a tragic loss, like losing a brother, losing a close friend. That's one thing, but losing a child, I think is on a slightly different level. 
That's any parent who lose their yeah. child. That shit fucked up. How did your mom take it? Not too well. She still don't take it well. It still don't sit well with her. That's why we be around our mother every day. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that you, you have to go through some shit like that. I don't think that's anything that a 20-something year old should ever have to go through. That's some shit you deal with in your 70s and 80s. You know what I mean? In terms of losing, losing your, uh, your siblings and, and so forth. You shouldn't have to deal with that shit in your 20s. It's sad, man. I'm sorry. Last time, uh, last time we did our interview, you got pretty twisted. In the interview, <laughs> and, and I remember as the interview progressed, you got more and more twisted. <laughs> you feel me? You can't blame nobody else for nobody else's mistake. Now, at one point, you got stabbed by your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Well, where did she stab you? In the stomach. In your stomach. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you actually show the stab wound? Hey, that bitch ain't my girl no more. Okay, your ex. I'm calling that bitch my ex. Just say that bitch. But since that time, let me let me pull up the date on this just so so I can get it right. Uh, back in March, you said that you drank the last cup of lean. Yeah. Are you still holding on to that? I started back. I ain't gonna lie. Like one, I, I lost some a, a few pounds. And I gained that shit right back. I mean, I mean, when you watch that interview that we did, and you go to like the end of it, do you watch and go like, like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of fucked up right now. <laughs> hey, I was ass here in that interview though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I was fucked up. I was real fucked up. I was high as hell. Hey, okay. you, you know that shit had me fucked up. I'd have nodded off on your ass 30 times in that interview. <laughs> okay. So, well, number one, why'd you stop? Why did I stop? Yeah. You know, you said that, you know, you drank your last lean cup back in March. Like, why, what, what made you decide to stop at that point? <laughs> hey. Shit. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hey, shit. I ain't gonna tell you the real reason. Cause my man's okay. a bitch. He, uh, he waited on me to say it. <laughs> hey, now nah, I had to stop drinking that shit though. Like, it was, you feel me? Like I had to stop. It's either you stop drinking this shit or you fuck your body up, you feel me? So I had to stop that shit. But I don't have no problems no more. So I be drinking, drinking, drinking. You hear me? Drink, 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 drink. Nah, I don't be drinking like that no more. I be drinking a lot though, but I don't drink how like how I be want to. Cause that shit do cost a lot of money, and you'll fuck it off, fucking with that lean, boy. I know. I think uh, Six Hundred Breezy in our last interview said that I don't drink then. Uh, Right now, street price, I'm drunk than a million dollars worth of lean. A million dollars. Definitely. About what they charge right now. They, they, you, niggas paying 135 a deuce for red in Chicago. All right. That's two lines. Ain't nobody drunk a million dollars worth of lean. I know, yeah. It, 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 I mean, he was exaggerating. But I think uh, G Herbo said he, he spent like 50000 on lean. No telling, bro. Like, I didn't, you I know, remember? I didn't spend 50000 on this shit. You spent fifty thousand on lean. Hell yeah, easy drinking lean. Hell yeah. Well, five years—that's ten thousand a year. I mean, well, that's that's rest, bro. Yeah, now you will do that. You will spend around that. You could damn near spend a hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand, two hundred. You hear me? Depending on how you drinking that shit. But I ain't going over ten thousand. I'm almost there though. Once I get the 10,000, it's over with. I'm stopping again. I ain't think you're getting all my motherfucking money. Okay, because, you know, since last time we talked in January, uh, Fredo Santana passed. And, and you actually, uh, you tweeted about it. 
I mean, if you think about it, he was a respectful dude. Shit, I ain't. I mean, he never showed no sign of disrespect. You feel me? Like he, he just did him. So it was like shit. No disrespect to him. Like me, I play by the rules. I don't know how these little niggas play around this bitch right now. I play fair. You feel me? But if you don't want to play fair, we ain't got to play fair. But I play fair. Like, I'm willing to get niggas chances and shit. You feel me? Like, but you ain't getting too many. You only get one chance. Like, after that, like, I don't even know what to tell you ass. Well, Fredo was only 27. And from everything that I've read and, and seen, it was because of the lean use. You know, he, he had like liver failure at one point. It's a difference. Like, they probably drink that shit raw. You know, some people be drinking. But see, that's how motherfuckers be like, they want to drop an eight and a two, two liter. And look how you drinking it. You drinking that shit so much and you drinking it by a lot every time you drink that shit. You feel me? That's why that shit be like, I'm good with a one in a 16 ounce. I'm dropping one in a 16 ounce, I'm high. You feel me? I drop a one, one in one in two 16 ounce. You high. You don't gotta do all that extra drop foes and 20, 20 ounces, drop an eight to two liters. You gonna fuck yourself up like that? You trying to die. Yeah, but Using that shit regularly on any type of basis, you're kind of flirting with the shit. You know, I hung out with Pimp C right before he died, like literally like a week before. And uh, I mean, everybody who, who overdoses off that shit, they don't see it coming. It's a, it's a serious drug, man. It's essentially heroin. Man, look, I'm trying to tell you, I ain't drinking that shit to where I'm going to die. I'm letting that shit be known right now. I like lean, don't get me wrong. But you know, there's certain niggas out here who will chop their own head off of that shit. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I'm not one of them. So uh, a few months ago, I think it was in June, there was a rumor that you got shot in the shoulder. Mm-hmm. And you actually went on video to actually address the fact that you were not shot in the shoulder. I'm trying to figure out, what the f*** is everybody getting his get well done some shit? Bitch. I mean, that's because, you know, everybody wanting to play internet games, bro. You feel me, Vladimir? I ain't with all that internet shit. You feel me? Like, how the fuck the internet know about anything before you can, even can say some shit about it? You feel me? Just say for the simple fact, how the fuck they gonna say you shot in the shoulder? before you can even confirm it yourself. They don't even know the truth. They just going off the fucking internet. They don't know, they have no proof that I was shot. So how the fuck is they just gonna go on the internet and say, Happy G Duck got shot in the shoulder. What, what was the point of even responding if there was no truth in it? Was it getting to the point where it looked, people were saying this shit? Was it getting so big that it was almost like- I'm just saying like if you, <laughs> get put in a situation that you ain't even got shit to do with, you can actually get wrongly convicted for some shit you ain't got nothing to do with. So you gotta clear that shit up right now. Like, don't put me at no place where a shootout was going on trying to get me put in jail and shit. I ain't with none of that funny ass police ass shit. Don't put me in that shit, you feel me? So I had to let that shit be known, like, no. Stop lying on me. Uh, originally, when uh, Takashi Six Nine started trolling Chicago and everything else like that, you originally started fucking with him, and then you stopped fucking with him, and then the two of y'all were on Instagram Live and a bunch of shit like that. About that situation, see, look, I ain't gonna lie. I got a homie who like thinks Six Nine like go crazy with the rap and shit. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm gonna get this shit a try. You feel me? But and, and I listen to the shit. You feel me? And I ain't gonna lie, I, I kind of liked it. The shit. You feel me? I like fuck it. I fuck with them. You feel me? Then I see like, hold on. Now you on this bitch with 
another nigga talking about some smoking tuba and all that shit, and you thinking it's funny and like giggly, giggly. So now I can't even fuck with you no more. Because now you, you like, basically, like, you want some pick a side type shit, like, with some shit that don't even got nothing to do with you. Like, if, if whatever you do is going to get you some money, you shouldn't even worry about what he got going on with me or what I got going on with him. I'm a man, you a man. I know that this beef ain't got shit to do with you. I don't know you for more than 10 years, so I'm not asking you to pick a side and be like, you fuck with me, don't fuck with them. You feel me saying? I don't do that. But that's what go on with these rapping ass niggas. Like, they do that shit, you feel me? Like, I don't do that. Like, I'm not gonna make you be on my side because I don't fuck with him. If you gonna do a feature with him and you gonna get paid off that shit, get your money. Just don't pick a side when he asks you to. Don't go over there and be with him and don't wanna act like you don't wanna fuck with me no more type shit. You see what I'm saying? Like that's the type of shit that go on right now. Okay. What what did you think about the video where he showed up on O Block for like thirty seconds and jumped I mean, back I knew car? that was I knew that shit was funny. I mean you hear birds chirping and shit. O Block right here, this what y'all wanted me in Chicago. This O Block right here. I should call this shit no block. It's 10 o'clock. Where the fuck y'all niggas at? Niggas ain't outside. It's only 10 p.m. Where the fuck y'all niggas at, blood? I knew that shit wasn't real. I mean, you right there. That's real. But it ain't at the time that you saying it is. I know for sure you would've got something done to you. Like, you would've got whooped. Some shit. Something would've happened to your ass. You ain't just finna go right there for that long and make no video. No, your ass is out there at four, five in the morning or some shit. Well, ain't nobody seeing you but security. You hear birds out there <laughs> chirping and shit. You know what I mean? That shit don't go on around 10 o'clock. Birds ain't out at 10 o'clock. You gotta be smart about this shit. I don't know. That shit don't got shit to do with me. He wasn't on St. Lawrence with that shit, so shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone trolls harder than Takashi 69 these days. You probably like trolling. Shit, trolling getting him paid, though. You see what I'm saying? Trolling, he don't get no fuck about trolling. Because he getting that motherfucking money trolling in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He don't get no fuck. You feel me? He with that shit. All the number one motherfucking spots he had on the billboard. He don't get no fuck. He going to keep trolling. What happened with you and T Grizzly? Oh, man. I just explained that shit to you again. Like, the rapper niggas picking sides and shit. Want to say they smoking brick up in the lobby and all shit like that. Don't even know what he's saying. You feel me? And then you all on the internet with it like... That shit ain't gonna get you nowhere. Like, it'd be a lot of shit I be wanting to tell y'all, but this ain't child business. You dropped the diss song, DOA in due time. Uh huh. Me and Young. You had the. It was kind of a dope cover though. You had the bear with the lasers on the bear. Yeah. Hey, that making that song was actually like fun. But it was just like fun. Yeah, we don't be taking these people serious. Like, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Like, we don't need to be taking these niggas serious. It's just like, watch your mouth. You see what I'm saying? Like, watch your mouth. You don't even know what that shit can cause you. Like, you don't even know what you're saying for real. You just going off what these niggas saying because you with these niggas. That's why I be saying, like, you can't, these rappers who ain't from here, don't be getting up with these rappers trying to pick sides and shit. Like, don't do that. Ain't no pick a side. You not from here. You don't got nothing to do with nothing that goes on here. Get your money. You want to do a feature with him? Do it. Y'all don't even got to be friends. You see what I'm saying? Like, you could be friends with him. Just stop picking sides and shit if you don't want none of the consequences to come behind that shit. Like, we don't be wanting to fuck with you niggas. Like, we don't be wanting to hurt nobody or do none of that shit. You feel me? But it's like a motherfucker try to push you there, you know? 
So you gotta make an example out of motherfucking, let a motherfucking know, like, hit their ass right in their mouth or something. Like, watch your mouth. But you can't find their ass, cause they don't mean really, like, out here how they say they be out here. Like, you be out here, like, when we go to shows, when we go do shows and we go to other cities and shit, like, we really, like, move through the city. Like, we be trying to feel a vibe. Like, we don't just wanna, like, make it come here and be like, we on some straight Hollywood shit, hell no. Nah. We trying to feel a vibe. We trying to, like, see what's to this shit, you feel me? Like, this shit like home, you feel me? Like, shit, except you ain't got to carry a gun there with everywhere your ass go. You feel me? That's the only difference. You know, Chicago fucked up. Trump talked about he wants to bring a stop and frisk to Chicago. You heard about that? What the fuck is that? That means that uh, basically a cop can stop you at any point and, and frisk you without uh, probable cause. Uh, he on some other shit, man. He on some straight crackhead shit. So they could just walk up to a motherfucker and just search you and do all that shit with no probable cause. Right, I think uh, New York was on that for a while. I think they stopped it, but New York was on that for, for a minute. Kanye is actually supposed to meet with Trump uh, tomorrow. I mean, you know, by the time this video comes out, he would have already done it. But uh, I mean, being, you know, with Kanye being from Chicago and him meeting with Trump, what's your take on that? Man, I don't give no fuck. <laughs> That shit don't got shit to do with me. Okay. I don't know Kanye. Shit. I don't pull, I don't feel no way about no other man I don't know. Fair enough. I mean, we've had you, we've had you on the show before on Vlad TV. Mm-hmm. We've also had Rico Reckless. <laughs> and and we recently put up an interview where I asked about, you know, whatever the issue was with y'all, and he he kind of explained it. Did you see that video? Yeah, he tried to make it seem like I got a problem with him. I mean, you know, the whole thing, you talked about the whole thing about people picking sides. He felt that you had an issue with him because he didn't want to pick sides. So them niggas get mad like, oh, Rick is fucking with the ops. You know what I'm talking about though? Now, that's not, this, now, this is what I'm saying. Rick is fucking with the ops, all type of goofy ass shit. Um, what you mean? Like, niggas still got ops? Like, you know what I'm talking about though? Like, I've been chilling, going motherfucker to Hollywood, motherfucking cash now. Like, we still got ops and shit. They, oh, you fucking off, nigga, fuck you. You know what it is, nigga, see you. So, um, what? Now, look, this coming from, this coming from that FBG goofy ass side. This, this is what they saying because I didn't saw phone them and I ain't whoop them or one of those shootouts, none. But that's because, nigga, I'm, a, nigga, I'm getting paid off rap now. I ain't tripping off no, you know what I'm talking about though? And then I guess I, and then I saw Lil Reese too, and then motherfuckers got mad because I guess, Nigga, like, whatever, they wanted me to do whatever. I don't get no fuck about that shit. So, Peter, nigga saying, fuck me. Then, Doug brother saying, fuck me and shit, like, all type of shit. Then, did, his did, ass. Didn't Doug's brother get killed? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, then he gets smoked. Then, niggas mad. Like, dude, like, you to making songs, all this killing shit, dude. Like, your brother, like, it's your lame ass song. Me personally, I don't got no beef with niggas. I'm smoking Tuka. And I, and I fuck with both of y'all. So, Regardless of what started this whole thing, is there a way for this to this whole thing to be fixed for y'all to get over whatever the past issues was? First of all, it's not even no issue. Let's clear this up right now. Okay. It's not no issue. See what I'm saying? Like the only problem I have with him is when you mention my people that's not even here. Like you wouldn't even say this shit to their face if they was alive. You see what I'm saying? Like other than that, I don't got no problem with you because like I'm doing better than you. Like. I don't, it's nothing to have no problem with, like, that's the only problem we have, like, you won't watch your mouth, like, you just gotta smoke brick, you gotta smoke too good, you just, anything else, you troll in like 6 9 so I don't really pay that shit no attention either, like, I know him, so the shit be like, okay, go ahead, do what you gonna do, like, I don't feel no way because he's like dick riding the herb and all them. Like, I don't even got no problem with her. So I really don't got no problem with you, like, because he tried to tell you that I had a problem with him because he went to his little album release party and shit. I listened to him my damn self. So what type of fucking problem would I have with you 
for going to Lil Herb shit. Like, Herb is not no op to me. Like, I don't have no personal beef with him. Like, I don't, so you can't even say that. But it's when you, like, when you run to niggas in the stove, when you used to diss they dead homies, but now you all on camera and shit and in the stove with them, because your ass was scared. But we gonna talk about that another time, lad. I, I fuck with both of y'all. And it, it would it would be cool. I don't got no problem with him. Like that's my honest opinion. Like I don't have no problem with him. It's just like I just told you. Like he needs to watch his fucking mouth. Like that's it. Like he gotta apologize. Like I don't get no fuck. Okay. So if you tell me that if he apologized for what he said and he and he said I'm not gonna you know say smoking, you know the, these people again, y'all would have no issues. Everything would be cool. Yeah, and I gotta smack the shit out of him. All right, well. Like you see how big my hand is. Like, I have to smack the shit out of him with these. And then he could apologize, and then I'll be over. Like, because there ain't no other beef. Like, you never did nothing to nobody from my block. We ain't never did shit to nobody from your block. Like, if you have one. Um, shit. So, it's really nothing personal. So, can't nobody say nothing personal. Because, like, your money not longer than mine. Your jewelry don't cost more than mine. Your car's not faster than mine. Your house not bigger than mine. So there's nothing else to have a problem with you with. Just watch your mouth. <laughs> and I'm going to People talk shit. It, it doesn't sound like it's that serious from my point of view. Man, I, like I told you, I know him. Like, he's known for talking shit. Like, that's all he do. Like, you feel me? So, like, that's... It'd be funny to me. At first, you used to say... You don't got to pay it. You know how my fuck be like, I don't got to pay you no attention. I'm doing better than you. But now it's like when I sign a deal and you know like I'm in the dough, now you willing to like freely diss a motherfucker. Like now you want to mention duck. You want to do this, you want to do that. But like, I like the attention. Like, that shit cute. <laughs> you just on some other shit like, like that's another one of my kids. You feel really like, that's my sunshine. Well, you know what's interesting is uh, before he was popping. I taught his little ass how to rap too. Like all that yelling shit, that shit come from me too. I taught my son how to rap. You don't be hearing this ad you be getting that money. That's my shit. <laughs> before Lil Pump became who he is today, before he even had the, the dreads, uh -huh. he, he mentioned smoking Tuca. And you actually responded, and and honestly, I'm almost thinking that you responding was what may have given him the springboard to get to where he is right now. I mean, it could have been. I don't know. I ain't gonna say that for sure, cause I don't know. I don't know. Like, I actually, don't fucking know. I was, but I don't be knowing where the fuck these niggas be coming from, like. I don't know, that should be weird. Don't that should be weird as hell to you? Like, yeah. all these colorful ass niggas coming out of nowhere. But I don't got no problem with him either. You feel me? He just a motherfucker who ain't claim that they just th thought it was a weed, who claimed they don't know Tuga was a dead person. You know what I'm saying? He was another one of them motherfuckers who claimed that, so shit. As long as they apologize, for claiming that they didn't know, then we all good. Just don't do that shit again. Well, I mean, there's a long list of people who have, who have done it, and it seems to me unknowingly, like Young M.A. Um... But every person who said that shit apologized. So I'm cool. Like, I don't got no problem with them. They straight. They claim they didn't know. They apologize. It's dead. Don't say the shit again. Or we ain't even trying to take no apologies. Right, because I think like Fetty Wap said at one, at one point, right? Apologized. Yeah, I mean, it seems to me that most of the time it actually is just uh, like they don't really know what it is, that they thought it was weed. The rappers you naming right now, I actually like kind of fuck with them. I be listening to Fetty Wap and shit. You feel me? I think it's like one, two songs of Young and May shit I listen to. I don't listen to Lil Pop. I don't know none of his shit. He be on some other shit with the rap. You and Zach TV, you guys did a few interviews together, right? Yeah. R.P. Zach. 
R.I.P. Zach TV. When you heard about that news about him getting killed and, and saw the video and everything else like that, how, how did you feel? I felt like it was crazy. And whoever did this shit was some bitch ass niggas. You feel me? Cause Zach ain't did shit to nobody. So whoever did that to Zach was hating on Zach. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't know, from me knowing Zach and from everybody else knowing Zach, I ain't never heard of Zach to do no fucked up shit to nobody. You feel me? So I don't feel like it's no reason in this world you should even want to do shit to Zach. Like Zach interviewed everybody, every hood. You see what I'm saying? Like he's cool with everybody. So I don't feel like, I just feel like shit, why would you want to do that to Zach? And once again, whoever did it, I just feel like they some bitch ass niggas. You know, and, and I've talked about this in a few of my interviews with people, you know, cause me, me and Zach, we, we've talked before and you know, I mean, we were in the same kind of business. So I, I definitely respected what he was doing. And he gave a lot of the Chicago rappers their first interviews. Yeah, hell yeah. Zach was a cool ass nigga, man. Well, I mean, but, but the big difference, I think, with what he does and what I do is that, you know, if I do an interview, you're either coming to my studio or, you know, if we're not in the same city, we'll do it over FaceTime. Right. But he pulling up to your shit. Zach ain't trying to hear that shit. Zach in your hood. That's why I say he was different. That's why it's more, like, that's why I say Zach is, like, like, don't get me wrong. You legendary, too. Don't get me wrong, but, like. I feel like he is legendary as hell. Cause like this, he pulling up to any fucking environment. Like he ain't giving no fuck. Like he ain't got just, just a cool ass motherfucker who wanted to put the city on. That's all he was. Yeah. And you know, I think this is a, co and, and I don't know what happened or what the situation was about. I have absolutely no idea because after he got killed, the dude in the car that was with him got killed as well. So it's, the whole situation is, is fucking crazy. But, you know, at one point I made a decision, you know, because in my early days, I used to pull up in, in any neighborhood. I pulled up at, you know, in fucking Compton, a gay, on Games Old Block, or I would go to South Central. I, I would go to fucking Brownsville, you know, whatever. But at one point I said, I'm taking too much of a risk by doing this type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Because there was always guns around and so forth. It was like, all right, you really have to be careful doing this job because th there is an actual threat level when you're shooting in these types of environments. Yeah, yeah, especially you got motherfuckers waving guns at you all day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've had that. I mean, I've, I, I used to, if you look at my old, because I was doing DVDs before Vlad TV, and you could look it up. There was guns on the camera. It was like, what if one of those just went off accidentally? Right. You ain't crazy for thinking like that, though. It's your motherfucking life. You right here recording, you got motherfucker. One of them motherfuckers, bah, go off and you get hit. You just right there looking dumb as hell, because they looking like, don't tell on me. Don't snitch on me. But you like, you just shot me. You feel me? But no, I ain't even tried to, and I fuck around because we finna die right now. You tell me I don't tell on you. <laughs> Fuckers be crazy as hell, man. It's just right. a, it's shit crazy, man. Let me just tell anybody who I'm interviewing, if y'all accidentally shoot me, I'm, I'm going to the police. Okay? <laughs> let, let me just put that out there, all right? Don't pull out a gun in none of my interviews, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not, I'm not going to go to the hospital and say, I don't know what happened. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Listen, man, rest in peace, Zach TV. And, and for, for everyone that follows in his footsteps, um, you know, just be careful doing these types of interviews, man. Hey, Vlad. Yeah. A Big Cloud EP drop October 12th. You going to get that? I'm definitely getting that. Okay, cool. Just gotta I'm definitely sure, getting that. Just got to make sure you're going to get that thing. Man. I'm 100% getting that, man. And uh, hey, you ain't going to be disappointed either, because you know how I be coming on the music. So it's all type of flavor and drippy on that bitch. You feel me? Shit going to go crazy, okay. though. I ain't going to lie to you. Shit going to be excellent. You know, I mean, in the song Slide, you talk about how you don't fuck with rappers. Are there going to be any rappers featured on the, on the EP? Not besides my homies. You feel me? Okay. Nah, but only, nah, nah, just Young and Dutch. Nobody else. And, um, Dope. I mean, 
but when the album comes, you're gonna see a lot of features on that bitch. Okay, so so this is just leading up to the album. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, like, I've been fucking with a few rappers lately, you feel me? But they cool ass dudes, you feel me? They they don't act like real rappers. You feel me? They just rappers, cause they rap. They consider it as rappers. But they don't act like real rappers. You feel me? So shit. I fuck with them. You know what's actually kinda interesting? I I don't know, like I'm not saying that this was at all related, but there is a song by this group called S O B R B E. You ever heard of them? Mm mm. Who that? S-O-B-R-B-E is like the, the biggest rappers out of the Bay Area right now. They're actually on the Black Panther soundtrack uh, with Kendrick. And, and there's a song called Antisocial, which, which kind of has like a similar, not a similar chorus in terms of the, the, the way the chorus goes, but, but the content is real similar. You should check it out. Basically, it's talking about, I don't want to shake your hand. I don't fuck with rappers. I ain't trying to be a fan. Like, it's, it's a similar... Similar kind of uh, topic in the chorus, man. You should check it out. Yeah, I gotta go check that out. They gotta pay me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who came out with their song first, but I'm just saying it, it's got it's got some some similarities in in the, the topic matter. You should check it out. It's a dope ass group too. I'm fuck you said S O B what? S O B, R B E. Put that in my phone. It's for 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 youngins out of the bay. All right, man. So listen. S O B Sony R B E, right? Antisocial. Okay, man. Well, listen, man. Congratulations. Big ass song, which I think is still growing. I Appreciate think that this it. is, you know, with slide. I don't even think it's, it's reached its height yet. Mm-hmm. It, I think it ain't either. You feel me? Because there's still a lot of motherfuckers who ain't who ain't really like heard it yet. So it's like, you feel me? It's, it grows every day. I be peeping the views, like that shit grow every day. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. That motherfucker went from doing like a hundred, two hundred thousand a day to down there a million a day. I was like, what the fuck? Yep. Yep. Congrats, man. Big ass song. And uh, dope, you know, sounds like you got a really good deal with Sony. So now you have an engine behind what you're doing. That made shit a little better too, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause they opened up a lot of doors for me. You know what I'm saying? Just out them being who I'm signed to. So it's like, they opened a lot of doors for me too, so shit. It's like, you getting a lot of opportunities. You feel me? You get to be on a lot of platforms now. So it's like, shit, let's do it. All you gotta do is do what you gotta do. Go in that bitch and make hits. Yep. You, you ain't got shit to worry about. That's what it is, man. Hoping that uh, Slide is the first of many big hits. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the only one. Trust me. Yep. That's what it is. FBG Duck, man. Always a pleasure. Till next time. Appreciate it. Peace.